Hi, I'm Buck Grisham, and I'm the guy who cleans up Mitt Romney's shit. I've been Mitt Romney's plumber for over 20 years now. It's time for us to cut back on government. And not once has he thanked me, but told me he appreciated my work. He's had many opportunities to do so. I've met the man several times. But each time I've gone up to him and tried to initiate a conversation, he just made eye contact with me and gave me like this death stare. The one time he did speak to me was an unpleasant experience to say the least. I was working on a job in Mitt Romney's master bathroom and I was elbow deep in waste. All of a sudden Mitt Romney started knocking on the door and screaming, Hey moron! Hey moron! I gotta get in there! He made me stop working on the job that I was almost finished with and told me to stand out in the hallway and wait. Twenty minutes later, Mitt Romney emerged from the bathroom, smiling and laughing. He hit me in the gut with a newspaper and told me to get my ass back to work. When I re-entered the bathroom, I was immediately hit with the most brutal fecal stench I've ever encountered. I had to hold my shirt over my mouth to avoid passing out. I went to go flip up the toilet seat and resume work. And that's when I saw what the internet refers to as a bird's nest. Mitt Romney took about a half a roll of toilet paper and molded it into some sort of makeshift nest. He then proceeded to drop about a half dozen egg-shaped pieces of excrement into said nest. He left that bird's nest there on purpose. He thought it was funny. I could hear him laughing in the hallway. Mitt Romney didn't care that I had to clean up that awful mess. Mitt Romney didn't care that six months later, a doctor diagnosed me with a chronic lung disease due to inhaling a severe amount of Mitt Romney's poo fumes. I'm gonna be sick for life. Mitt Romney doesn't care about that. So voters, take it from me, the guy who has to deal with Mitt's shit. Do not vote for Mitt Romney. And, uh, and so my job is not to worry about those people. I'll never forget.